Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. You know, Memorial Day is that, that, that day uh, that we just experienced, of course. Uh, you know, we're in the process of experiencing, rather, uh, where we enjoy the holiday and uh, we eat at an unusually large amount uh, of, uh, of levels and uh, begin to regret it and uh, always uh, delighted uh, to be able to come up with strategies to deal with that. Enjoy Martina who recently, in fact, wrote a great article on this very topic over at usdailyreview.com. She's going to talk to us a little bit about how to do just that. Uh, she wrote an article called 10 Tips to Accelerate Fat Loss, and I think that's uh, the ongoing mission of most adults, it seems like, these days. And so, uh, Joy, welcome to the program. Hello. I'm delighted to be here. Great. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do. Wonderful. I'm Dr. Joy Martina. I'm a holistic psychologist, and together with my husband, Dr. Roy, who's an MD, we have created a weight loss program that we believe and know is absolutely revolutionary. We encourage people to ditch their diets, to forget about all those myths on willpower, and to learn how to lose weight in a natural and effortless way by training their brain. So we're really excited to be on your show um, to be able to present this, or at least I am, Dr. Royce, at the moment on another call, um, because we're getting so much interest from the media and from the public to really discover that we do not need to suffer to lose weight. So we've just brought out our first best-selling book called Sleep Your Fat Away, and it's our aim to do our bit to help end obesity and teach people how to make weight loss a really pleasurable journey. Yeah, very interesting. And so what, what are your backgrounds, uh, both your husband and yours? Well, as I said, I'm a holistic psychologist. Um, I've studied the brain and human emotions for over 25 years now. And Dr. Roy, he's a medical doctor. He started out with uh, training to become a surgeon, had a car accident, and then went into holistic health, first to heal himself, and then he found this is so exciting, there's so much I can do, that he then opened up his own practice and has been training and teaching all over the world to teach people a holistic way to heal themselves. And for this project, we've put all our knowledge together because we wanted to find out how can we really help millions of people in a new way, not come out with yet another diet or some scam, but really get something that's going to help people create that lifestyle change they're really looking for. Because none of us needs a new diet. What we really need is something that's going to be able to make it easy for us to tap back into our natural intelligence. Because I believe, you know, many of us or most of us know technically what we should be eating more of and what we should be staying away from. So we know we should be eating veggies and fruits more than we should be um, tacking into the donuts. But we found out what do naturally slim people do to make that an easy way so it doesn't have to be a struggle. And that's where we found some fascinating, easy tips that I believe we could share with millions of people and also with the listeners on this show that they can start implementing right away to make this an easier and more pleasant journey. Okay, so over at usdailyreview.com, 10 tips to accelerate uh, fat loss. You can check that article right now. The listener can. Talk, let's, let's real quickly go over the list, uh, make sure mm -hmm. we cover all of the points, uh, you know, and, and maybe go into detail on a few. But I'm, I'm going to name each one because I have the article right in front of me. Just give us a couple of smaller points, and if we have enough time, we'll, we'll go back and talk about some of these in more detail. Okay? Right. Sir. So number one, replace doing something with doing something else. Yes, that's a big one. So I think especially when we eat, we very often end up doing something else while we're eating. So one of the first things I would love you to implement right away is to make it a golden rule that when you are eating, you are only eating and not doing something else. The same rule we can apply for when we're actually um, yearning to have a donut, that we break that pattern, that habit, by doing something else instead and say, you know what, I'll eat that donut in half an hour, but now... I'm going to focus on my breath. I'm going to drink a glass of water. I'm going to tap this special acupressure point that we found that I can share also with our listeners. And that uh, creates a, a change, a shift in our brain that we don't tap into those habits of, for instance, then going for junk food. And we're able to make more conscious choices. 
Yeah. There are a lot of sleep to fast you, you, You're going to have to forgive aware of what we're doing. You're going to have to forgive me, but I want to try to cover all 10 a little bit. And if we do this, okay. I won't get, we'll get to four or five. And so okay, uh, that's, that's number one. Very thorough. Number two, tell a friend. Tell a friend. That will help you keep it, stay accountable. So if you're going embarking on your weight loss journey, call a friend and tell them that you're doing this. Because then you can check in with them again, and you'll feel more dedicated to your program than if you just do it for yourself and don't tell anybody. Drink a glass of warm water and make yourself think. That's right. That goes into the first point that I was saying. Instead of automatically going for your snack, think. Take a breath, drink a glass of water, and say, am I really hungry right now, or is actually something else going on? Okay. Replace unhealthy snacks with healthy ones. Yeah, that's a big one. So if you know you can't resist brownies, cookies, or muffins, don't even have them at home. Replace them with snacks that are more, you know, that are better for you that you will enjoy. So that can be something like having some carrot sticks and some celery sticks in the fridge, having some chopped up apples with a bit of peanut butter. So you know that you will be wanting a snack, but choose those snacks in a better way. Banish all high calorie condiments and sugars. That's right. Well, we want to get rid of sugar as much as we can because it's empty calories, it messes up our brain, and instead you want to be choosing condiments that are more focused on spices, on herbs. You don't need all that sugar. You don't want to banish the empty calories and enjoy the food itself. So that's an easy way of really reducing the calorie intake. Load up on veggies and salads. That's right. So skip the bread. When you're going out for dinner, don't even go for that bread basket. Instead, make sure that at least two-thirds of your plate are filled with vegetables and salads, and that will then help you have a healthier balance in your meal. Okay. And uh, ban fast food. Yeah, I'm sorry about that one, but that really is going to make a huge change when you stop going, even thinking about doing the fast food, and instead opting for healthier food. We're not about eating um, necessarily less. It's about eating the right things and in the right way so that you slowly chew them and nobody chews a hamburger slowly. At least I have not seen them. Mm -hmm. So just skip the fast food and opt for healthier foods and then get, you know, eat until you're really satisfied. Ban liquid calories. Yeah, well, see, we've heard a lot about the sodas and the sweet drinks and a lot of people are aware of that one. But what we often forget is that the fruit juices, especially with all this smoothie trend and the fresh juice trend, we often fall into the trap of thinking, oh, I'm doing something really good for myself. I'm drinking a lot of fresh fruit juice, but they're stacked with sugar and a lot of calories with them. So instead, drink more water. Please, people, hydrate. Drink water (laughs) as much as you can. Be accountable. That's right. That goes back into telefriend. So be accountable by either, if you can afford it, have a coach, have a friend, buddy up with someone, keep a food diary, really write down what you are taking in every day, because that will make you aware of all the little things that you maybe forget you're not even aware of that you're eating. And finally, order smaller portions. Yeah, that's the big one that we noticed when we relocated to the U.S. two years ago is that the portion sizes in the U.S. are honestly about a double of what we get in Europe. So that, I feel, is manipulating us right from the start and making it really tough on us to be able to be disciplined. So as a trick, order a smaller portion right from the start so you won't even be tempted to fill, you know, to finish that entire plate. By the way, are you from the U.K.? I'm assuming you are. Yes, I am. Yeah, I yeah. To- I mean, you know, that accent can get tricky, but, you know, uh, uh, obviously uh, you, you sound like you have what they call a public school English at that, so that helps a little bit. <laughs> I haven't had problems with them up to date. Yeah, or BBC, BBC English uh, for, for Americans to, who had scratched their heads. Right. What does that mean? But uh, anyway, very good. Thanks so much for being with us, Joy Martina. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. And the website, by the way, give that before I let you go. Love to. Sleepyourfatherway.com. Very good. All right. And you can also see her article at usdatareview.com. I'm Kevin Price. It's been a great uh, show and uh, looking forward to uh, being with you tomorrow right here on this great station. Mm-hmm.